Hello everybody, welcome to our presentation which is called Enable System Artifact Reuse Through the Semantic Representation of Engineering Models, a case study of Simulink Models. My name is Ramen Dieta, I'm a system engineering at Reuse Company and a student of PhD program of Computer Science and Technology at Carlos III University of Madrid. First of all, this is our agenda. Um, to start with this pr uh, presentation, we will see an introduction, an introduction when we will try to put some context of our research, the objective, which is main, the, the main goals of these uh, investigations, uh, uh, a state of art, a review of uh, related works, um, the proposed solution. We will see the details of architecture and technology that we use to to make the solution that we propose in this paper. A case of study when we do some experimentations and the analysis of results. And finally, a conclusions. First of all, the introductions. In the last time, we have seen an emergency of model-based system engineering as a complete methodology to address the challenge of unifying the techniques, methods, and tools to support the whole specification process of a system. But uh, in, non in order to do reuse, uh, it's necessary to understand the underlying concepts and relationship that allow us to make a semantic interpretation of the models. So for that, it is necessary to define a knowledge management strategy for reusing system artifacts. We propose a RCIP to Simulink uh, solution in this work that makes use of an ontology-based approach for indexing and retrieving information following a metamodel information representation model based on relationship that is called RCIP. Our objectives. Uh, first of all, design and implement a mapping between a MATLAB Simulink Metamol and RSHIP Metamol. This is the first uh, step for the, for do for do the solution that we propose. The second step is a retrieval implementation, which basically is a, is a retrieval process implemented on top of, of our repository to allow users to perform text-based queries and look up similar artifacts. To validate the proposed solution, 38 Simulink models have been used and 20 real user queries have been designed to study the effectiveness in terms of precision and recall of the proposed solutions against the MATLAB Simulink searching capability. The state of art. We split the, the state of art in three main areas. First one is a model reuse, second one simulating model reuse, and third one RSHIP applications. Model reuse, uh, the first work is about represent and retrieve computer aid design by implementing a mapping function between the features of different CAD models. The second work is an ontology-based retrieval technique to perform a semantic similarity process between unified modeling language class diagrams. For Simulink uh, reuse model, structural and Simulink model for verification and reuse, the third uh, work that we study, describe a solution to focus on the design of patterns to develop reusable model structure without considering semantic features. The fourth uh, is a tool for automatically identify, classify, and formalize submodels patterns in simulating models. This tool implements a retrieval process based on text comparison. Regarding RSHIP applications, uh, the, we have uh, analyzed this work that reuse of physical system model by means semantically knowledge representation which basically is a case of study applied to Modelica uh, so, uh, with, uh, to reuse electric circuit. And the uh, last one is 
uh, is a work of this, the author present a similar approach for CSML models, where a mapping between the CSML meta model and RSHIP meta model is presented. Based on the previous approach experience, the RSHIP meta model fits to represent both meta data and content of different types of models. In the context of this work, simulink models have been selected to test the feasibility of reusing analytical models applying the same principle of knowledge representation. Our conclusion uh, after review the state of art that is that unlike the previous approach where we use is based on specific features of the domain knowledge or where we use is basically focused on the text comparison, the proposed solution aims to improve the reuse of embedded information in the simulink models by providing uh, first a semantic representation of simulink models using an existing meta models like RSHIP and second, a retrieval mm -hmm. process based on comparing the underlying graph of a query against a repository of Simulink models. Our approach, a reuse semantic information, needs to deal with a lot of factors that have to be considered in, in reuse technique. One of the main objectives is to identify, classify, organize and represent Simulink models using semantics. Uh, which basically means that we use graphs of knowledge uh, as a base of these solutions. As we can see, it, as it can be seen in the, in the figures, we represent a simulating uh, diagram as a knowledge graph using our sheet. How we do this. As you can see in the figures and, and the table, a map a rules is, are defined for this work. First of all, we can see that a uh, simulating diagram. This simulating diagram uh, is quite compatible with the RSHIP meta model because it is, it is, uh, there is a chart, there is a graphs, nodes, and this nodes has the have typologies and a relationship, it can be found in simulating diagrams. So basically we define the, the, the rules that you can see it in the table. For instance, a model, we define that each model of each simulating model will be an archive artifact. And each block uh, we will represent it as a block artifact, but this artifact can have uh, a typology. This typology will represent it as an artifact type, and the name or the description, we will represent it as a, an artifact name, uh, which basically uh, is a, a noun term. And then the whole properties of a simulating block, we will represent it as a RSHIP meta properties. And the last one is the relationship. Basically, the relationship we will represent it as a uh, archives with a defined typology line, line defined typology. So the proposed solution consists on an application developed in Visual Studio.NET with a framework for eight. Um, this application allows to parse Simulink file using a Simulink software library for Java and EKUVM for creating a semantic representation of a Simulink model using Cake RC model. As a consequence of using this framework, it is possible to use build mechanism already available for indexing retrieval information. So, in the figure, we can see the, the architecture of our proposed solution. Uh, and how all the components uh, communicate with each other. Basically, we can see the, the, the parts and the processes that we define for our proposal solution. So let's see it uh, in more detail way. For instance, Simulink block, uh, the Simulink to our ship this component groups 
Simonic library and cake basically it allows us to semi-automatically apply the mapping between the Simulink elements and the RCP meta model, creating an underlying semantic graph based on the domain ontology. The Simulink library, this component allows to map in the objects that are obtained from invoke the reading process of Simulink library. Once the information is obtained from the file, it is represented using the cake API. Uh, once the information is represented in RCIP language, it is possible to use the built-in capabilities for information retrieval and indexing. The Cake API internally implements a pattern matching algorithm between graphs that returns a value of similarity. The case of study. As it can be seen, how we do this case of study. Uh, we define a queries. Um, we define a queries as in the simulink. In the simulink, these queries are are partial models. And next, these partial models, these queries, can be uh, present in some of the models that we index. For instance, as it can be seen in the in the in the image in the video in the short video. We define a query and we search inside one of the models uh, if it is possible that this query, this component, ha is present as a part of a whole model. So, to illustrate the approach for using model, this case of study has been conducted and has been designed as follows. First of all, define a dataset of Simulink model from the public website repository of MathWorks, General. Automotive models and aerospace models have been downloaded to test different domains. This dataset comprises 38 physical models, 21 general models, 9 automotive, and 8 aerospace that have been indexed. Define a dataset of queries to evaluate the retrieval capabilities of the proposed solution. Each query has been designed with different common components of models to return a set of Simulink schemes. These queries have also been indexed. The third step is for each query, defined in the previous step, analyze the models retrieved by Simulink to RSHIP, taking into account all the semantic information represented into the dataset. And finally, uh, analyze the results and validate them using the schema proposal uh, by Huristo that extract the measure of precision, a recall, and F1 score. In the chart, it can be seen uh, how these metrics, uh, how these metrics looks like. For instance, the red line is a recall metric, and then the other one is precisions. Just as it can be seen in the in the previous chart, just a 10% of the queries obtaining a value of precision below acceptable, and in the in the case of recall, just 20% of the queries because the queries has components with incomplete semantic information, no name for instance or no description. Um, however, it was also determined the need of consider within the similarity algorithm more specific aspects of Simulink block. For instance, in cases such as logical operator blocks, the algorithm has some similarity between these blocks regardless of the type of operator. In other words, for the algorithm there was a similarity between the logical operations and, and or regardless of whether they are semantically different. The paper conclusion. Uh, we have used a similar KPI to propose a process of semantic interpretation of models and have developed Simulink to RSHIP, which performs the mapping between elements of Simulink models and K components. Simulink to RSHIP approach seems to be promising an alternative to, 
considering that unlike many of virtual tools that perform text searches, it determines the similarity using a combination of semantic and topological algorithm. The result obtained in the experimentation proves the feasibility of the approach. It is possible to build indexing and retrieval engine for physical model using a semantic representation. One of the main limitations in the research lies in the size of the repository, where the queries were made to carry out more accurate tests. It will be necessary to have a larger set of simulating models. As a future work, improvements in the representation of system artifacts are planned, including terminology, thesaurus, and semantic clusters. Other types of models will be also included in the experimentation, such as those supported in the modelica language. In terms of experimentation, this small settings is representative to demonstrate the feasibility of the approach. However, large settings, including real user needs, are completely required to provide a more significant and unrealistic validation. And as the research leading to this result has receiving funding of the European project, our help. So, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me through the email that we show in the screen. Thank you.